Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. It's very challenging and a lot of fun. If you haven't tried it yet, look for a link in the video description below for a demonstration video and a link to the rules and scoring. The scoring is a little complex. That's why we're going to practice. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. This is the recreation of a game played at SiamesMahjong.com. This is my rack, and this is my opponent's rack. In the first round of discards, they punged an 8-bam. In the next round of discards, they punged a 3-bam. And of course, I realized that those don't go together. In the game right now, you cannot declare another player's hand dead. That is a, a future feature that will be available soon. So I just played out my hand knowing that they could not win two hands. So they used all their concealed tiles to come up with this hand. And this hand was exposed in the beginning of the end game. So I decided that I was going to do my best to double Mahjong. Since they could only win one hand, we could go through the whole wall, which gives me time to double Mahjong, which is what happened here. So we have the 2468 concealed hand for this player. And we have like numbers with dragons, and then the concealed hand under consecutive run. Double Mahjong. Score this. This player has a concealed hand that they declared, so they get 30 points for that hand. Here we have a 25-point hand and a 30-point hand. Because we double mahjonged, we would get double value for both hands. So this would be a 50-point hand, and this would be a 60-point hand for 110 points. If you're playing in person, your opponent can deduct the value of their hand from yours. So they would pay 80 points or 80 cents for this win. If you're playing online, the game gives your opponent credit for their hand, and you get full credit for yours. Siamese Mahjong has complexities that don't exist in the four-player game. One of them is that exposures have to be on the right rack. Since you have two hands and two racks, when you make those exposures, you got to make sure they go together on the right rack. Otherwise, one of your hands could be declared invalid, as is the case in this game. My opponent was able to win one of the hands, so they used all their concealed tiles to develop a hand to get some value for their effort. What that does for the other player is give them the time they need to win both hands. You got to win those two hands before the tiles in the wall are depleted. So one nice thing that that will allow for is double Mahjong. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.